Venus, the second planet from the Sun, is often called Earth's twin due to its similar size and mass. But when it comes to climate, Venus is anything but familiar. In fact, it boasts the hottest surface temperatures of any planet in our solar system, reaching a staggering 465 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. This heat is not a fleeting phenomenon. It remains constant across every region, day or night. The reason lies in Venus's incredibly dense atmosphere, made up of about 96.5% carbon dioxide. This thick layer traps heat through a powerful greenhouse effect, creating a world where temperatures rarely fluctuate and the surface remains perpetually scorched. But the intensity doesn't end there. The atmospheric pressure on Venus's surface is about 92 times greater than what we experience on Earth, comparable to the pressure found almost a kilometer beneath the ocean here. Such conditions pose enormous challenges for any spacecraft or probe attempting to explore its surface. Despite these extreme conditions, Venus is far from a dead world. Recent research from April 25 reveals that the planet's outer crust may still be in motion, stirred by convection processes within its mantle. This internal activity could explain the presence of tens of thousands of volcanoes scattered across the planet, suggesting that Venus is still geologically alive. Perhaps most intriguing are the findings from July 2024, when astronomers detected traces of phosphine and ammonia in Venus's upper clouds. On Earth, these chemicals are typically associated with biological or industrial processes, raising tantalizing questions about possible forms of life surviving in the planet's more temperate upper atmosphere. Given the inferno below, NASA engineers have proposed futuristic floating habitats high in Venus's atmosphere, where temperatures and pressures resemble those on Earth. These airborne colonies could one day offer a safe haven for scientists, opening a new frontier for exploration, and perhaps someday, Nyi Xi Xi Day, Discovery.